guys, so today I'm doing a very, very requested and exciting video. I'm gonna be trying world's most full coverage foundation. What? Oh, how could I be so rude? Mila wanted to say hi, everybody. So this foundation right here has been buzzing the web and somehow I just never got around to trying it out. But like as the months progressed, I got more and more requests for it. So here is finally, here's the day. Here's the day where I finally try out world's most full coverage foundation. So the foundation is by the brand Dermacol. Dermacol Film Studio Berendorf Prague makeup cover. It claims to be waterproof, it has an SPF of 30 and hypoallergenic. There's one thing I wanna say before we start off. I got so many tweets from Dermacol's Facebook page with my power of makeup video, like the photo, like the half half, promoting this. Perfect timing. <laughs> Dermacol, please explain to me how I could have used that foundation for my power of makeup when today is the first time actually trying it out. Are you advertising fake news? Are you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Uh, no. No, Dermacol, you never asked me to use that picture. I never tried your foundation before. So what you're doing is lying to your following. That's not okay. So you better surprise my ass or you're gonna get it. <laughs> All in good fun, of course. But I do think it's a little weird slash shady that they would use a picture of me without asking and without me even wearing the product to promote their product. That's not okay with me. And um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. So when you open the foundation up, it actually comes, <laughs> it comes with instructions. All right, you ready, Mila? Mm -hmm. Deutsch, nein. Polski, no. <laughs> I don't know what, what Polish people say it, no. Francais, no. Espanol, no, no. English, yes. Clinically tested hypoallergenic high cover Dermacol makeup cover is one of the first cover up makeup products released on the world market. Okay. Its formula was developed in Berendorf Film Studios in Prague for professional makeup artists and subsequ subsequently sold in Hollywood. It was only sold in Hollywood. Its unique creamy consistency containing 50% pigments hides, yeah, I know, babe, hides uneven skin color and blemishes, smoothens out the skin and gives it a velvety matte appearance. I'm down. It can be used on the entire face and body for color correction, lightening, or darkening skin tones, or for professional makeup applications such as photography, modeling, and special occasions. Well, I might so have a special occasion today and I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm gonna, it's gonna be one of the first times I'm actually gonna like vlog. I'm shooting for a Dutch web series today and um, it's gonna be a long ass day. So I need to see how long this lasts and when it starts looking bad and everything. So I'm just gonna take you with me, so you'll be joining me today. Dermacol makeup cover is water resistant and has been dermatologically tested. It is suitable for all skin types. You know what, I think it's enough of the talking. I think we should get down to the business and actually try it out. I ordered two colors. The colors I ordered are 207 and 208. This is what the packaging looks like. It is gold. You don't like gold? I believe these retail for $12 on Amazon, but I had to order these from a Dutch web shop because Amazon hates me and it doesn't want to ship to my house. So yeah, without any further ado, I think that was the longest intro of my life. So let's get down to the coverage. Alrighty, so this is what my face looks like straight out of the shower. I put a tiny bit of uh, moisturizer on because I cannot live without moisturizer with my dry ass skin. And that brings me to the following subject. I have dry to combination skin. So meaning my skin is very dry, very dry, but somehow my T-zone is oily. So throughout the day when there's foundation on top, it will break apart throughout the day, like after like six to seven hours, maybe even five. I see like product becoming shiny and breaking apart on my nose. So we don't want that. And that's why we're testing this out today. It comes with a little opener like that. So you gotta kind of like force your way in. So see how like, just like medicine, it's like closed off. So you gotta 
I am gonna be applying primer. I wanna treat this foundation like I treat all my other foundations. When I am wearing foundation, I'm wearing primer, I'm wearing a shitload of powder, and I'm baking, because this will ensure for me that it'll stay on as long as possible. So I'm gonna treat this foundation like no other. So the primer I'll be using today is J1 Jelly Pack. This is amazing, it's like a makeup glue. This is so sticky that anything you put over top is really gonna last. So just apply that and prime, baby. And once you're done priming, let's go down to the foundation. I'm gonna be applying it using my Morphe Beauty Blender sponge. I put color 208 on the back of my hand. I'm gonna dip my sponge into it and here we go. Oh my fucking God. Oh wow, oh she thick. Okay, let's spread it out. What? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I... <gasps> I'm so amazed, I don't know what to say. I dipped my sponge in taking quite a lot, thinking I'll probably need more than I think. Um, that dip pretty much covered like half of my face already. This is insane. When I'm looking at the consistency and how it feels on my face, she's thick. This foundation is definitely on the thicker side, but it's not uncomfortably thick. You know how you have foundations that when you put them on, they just feel like a mask? This is like a comfortable thick. Like you feel it covering you up, but it's nothing like, oh my God, oh my God. It feels a little bit waxy, almost almost like a little moussey, but the coverage just keeps going and going and going. I haven't dipped back in. This is absolutely insane. I think the color is a little tiny bit too pale for me, which I think is amazing because I am white as paper. So anyone lighter than paper, <laughs> which is pretty much like see-through paper, um, you got a match. This is 208. I know they have 207, but swatches online showed me that 207 actually looked darker than 208, but I'm just amazed at all of this right now. It's covering up everything. This can cover up family members that I don't like. Oh my God, and just like that, my face is removed. <laughs> Actually, Mila scratched me, and it's like a little scab right now, so I cannot remove it. It's a scab, it's not, it's not, it's not what you think it is. I went from a red flustered mess to a blank canvas. It doesn't get more like even than this. It's, oh my God, I don't know what to say. If this lasts long, I might have found my holy grail, holy grail, holy grail full coverage foundation because this covered up everything. I mean, I can cover up haters with this. I'm gonna be like, shh, and you're gone. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I also feel like it is hiding my pores. It's a veil, like a cover. It's like beautifully, whoa. And then now I'm gonna bake my under eye area to make sure it doesn't crease throughout the day. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you, this is my biggest fear because this consistency is a little bit more waxy. Um, I do have a little feeling that it's gonna move and like break apart throughout the day, but only time can tell, so let's see. All right, under eyes are set, and now I'm gonna set the rest of my face using some loose powder and a powder puff, and really press it in. It's all so one-toned. I love it, I, I love it. I feel like a blank canvas. I wanna paint my face. I wanna go the extra mile, even though I can't because I have that show today, so I can't go all out, but like, I, I'm loving this. I'm not gonna do my brows and eyes off camera, and maybe I'll come back when I'm about to do my cheeks to bring back all the dimension, but so far, really good. Really good, I'm really impressed. So this is what my face looks like after 
the whole shebang. I am in love so far. So this is the end result doing my makeup using the Dermacol foundation as a base. And I will say the following things. If you're a light coverage kind of person, this will be extreme for you the first time applying it. Now, me personally, you know I love my full coverage, so I am used to it. I am used to a thicker layer, a more intense layer, to caking it up on my face and making it look flawless. If that's not you, the first time putting this on, you're gonna be shocked. Coverage-wise, I think it looks fabulous. And even after doing all my bronzing, contouring, blush, highlight, I think the color is a really, really good match. It's a little bit more pale and neutral. I'm a little bit more yellow and just a teensiest bit warmer, but I think the color match is pretty damn awesome. Other than that, it completely got rid of any pores. It just, it's like a beautiful, blank canvas veil and I am obsessed. So I'm praying that this will look good throughout the day. I am now about to get picked up for my ride to Amsterdam and then I'm gonna have a full day of shooting for that Dutch web series and I'll do check-ins and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm now on set, well almost on set. I just got my hair done, I changed my lip, I'm wearing pajamas because I'm gonna be filming in bed with Fred. Fred is my friend and we're gonna do a really, really fun episode, but here is the foundation after almost three hours. I haven't powdered anything. I just changed my lip up and that's about it. So no powder, no nothing. It's not creasing in my nose. It's not creasing anywhere. I'm not shiny. Well, it's a good shiny highlighter. Doing good. Three hour mark finish. So we just shot the show. Hi. Hi, baby. My foundation still looks really good. No powder. What time is it? Seven? I just got done shooting, and so it's been on for about five hours now, and this is the time after all that laughing. I see it kind of, see that crease? It's creasing in my smile lines, and a little bit, this is so real. <laughs> Right here, it's starting to break down a little bit. It's not necessarily shiny or anything. It still looks good, but it is breaking apart like right here and right there. And that's usually where it breaks apart for me. Um, so I'm a little disappointed that it didn't last longer than other foundations, but I'm just gonna go in with my first powder of the day. Kind of toning that down a little. I think that's really good still, five hours. Let's see how it holds up. All right, so it is almost midnight and that means I've been wearing this foundation for pretty much like nine and a half hours now. And I wanna take my makeup off, it's been a long day and I'm done. But my final verdict on the Dermacol foundation, world's most full coverage foundation, um, it's really not that long lasting. I can have long ass, like 12 to 13 hour days with my Lancome foundation and my Estee Lauder foundation and it will look flawless till the end until I take it off. This, however, I see breaking apart on my chin. It is creasing in my smile lines. It is creasing in this little, little nook and cranny of my nose. And overall, it's just starting to look worn and it's just starting to look old and cakey. So definitely after the seven hour mark is when I started noticing that it started looking a little bit more cakey, a little bit more dry. It started breaking up in places, especially my chin and my nose are having the hardest time right now holding up. So am I gonna use this foundation in the future solely by itself? Maybe for filming, maybe when I'm doing a tutorial and I want even more coverage than usual. But what I mainly think this is gonna be my holy grail for is making any foundation in my collection more covering. So let's say I have a foundation that I love the consistency and texture and everything of, like the longevity, but I just want a tiny teensy bit more coverage. I feel like for the future, I'll definitely add a tiny drop of this to give it that extra mile. I will say though, under my eyes, it looks flawless. So with the baking, it looks beautiful. So I'm even thinking, maybe I'm gonna start using this as concealer because my under eyes really look really, really good. So for the future, I think this is gonna be a mixing medium for other foundations and a concealer for me, but just by itself, purely itself, no.
And that pretty much wraps up this first impressions slash review video on the Dermacol Waterproof Foundation, what? The Dermacol Foundation. I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get a notification every time I upload. Again, I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching. Definitely sound off in the comments down below what you think of this foundation. Have you tried it? out yourself after this video or like let me try this out for myself I need to see what this looks like on me definitely sound off in the comments give me your honest opinion like always and let's make it a fun community down there again so again thank you so much for watching I said that like five times already but I truly mean it and hopefully I will see you on the next one me and my cakey face are going to bed bye <laughs>